So this one, we've seen a couple like this in the set. You know, there's the giving the probability that it's a multiple of eight over the total. For me, I can't do it that way. I have to do the sample set here, uh, which is fine because I need to go to eight, and eight goes into 96, so that should work out fine. I, I, I don't know, I don't know a way of doing it without doing the sample set because when we're doing three consecutive numbers multiplied together, and we're looking for a number like eight, which is like not prime, and it's actually two to the third, there's, there's a bunch of different ways we can get three twos. Uh, so I, w I would just wouldn't rely on myself to say, okay, what's the probability that I get a multiple of eight? It doesn't come just from the multiples of eight. It comes from putting a two and a four together also. Bottom line, let's just do the sample set here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going one to eight because I need to go to eight. And eight goes into 96, so that's fine. It goes, it goes in an even number of times. I'm doing three consecutive numbers multiplied together. It, does it have three twos in it? No, I'm thinking of these as primes, not actually multiplying these values out. 1 times 2 times 3? No. 2 times 3 times 4? Yes. Because I have a 2 and then 2 more 2s. 3, 4, 5? No. 4, 5, 6? Yes. 5, 6, 7? No. 6, 7, 8? Yes. 7, 8, 9? Yes. 8, 9, 10? Yes. Okay, again, why did I keep going with that and just didn't stop at five, uh, six, seven, eight. I need to go from where n is one to where n is eight. So I do need to do seven, eight, nine, and also eight, nine, ten to do this accurately. My last draw going one to 96 would be 96 times 97 times 98 because I'm drawing n from one to 96. So if n is 96, n plus one is 97, n plus two is 98. So how many of these draws work? One, two, three, four, five out of eight, five eighths.